Let me show you how to download and install Sodium for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.21 is to click the second link in the description, which is our reading guide on how to download and install Sodium. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to do this real quick, scroll down to step one and click on Sodium. That'll bring you over here where you're going to select 1.21. Now, if you don't know where 1.21 is in here, just click on filter version and type in 1.21 and then just click on this little download arrow in here. And while this Sodium is downloading, I have to let you all know about Apex hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, it doesn't matter. A server that is open the whole time, 24 seven, and your friends could join at any moment. A server that supports over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button, and you could do all of that in less than five minutes with 25% off by using the first link in the description, then Apex hosting is perfect for you. Something that I personally love about Apex hosting, besides them having locations all around the world, so I don't have to worry about lagging, is that you could set up the server Server and you could access the server console all through your phone. So that means that you could be away from the house and using your phone, you could change the settings, set up your server, kick people out, whatever you want to do, you could do through your phone. And that is one of the big reasons why I use Apex Hosting. If you want to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting, go ahead and use that first link in the description. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once Sodium downloads, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop, which you'll find it here in your recent download history. And now we have Sodium, right? This is a mod. And in order for us to use this mod, we're going to need some type of mod loader. In this case, we're going to use fabric because as you can see sodium does support fabric now if you already have fabric you could skip this part just add sodium to your mods folder and you are done however if you don't have fabric all you have to do is click on the third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install fabric if you want to skip all the reading just scroll down to step one and click download fabric loader here i'll bring you over here where you're going to click download your universal jar and help begin the download for the installer of fabric go ahead and drag and drop that installer of fabric to your desktop and now we are pretty much ready to start so the first thing you want to do is make sure that you close Minecraft as well as your Minecraft launcher and also make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer to create an instance for it. Okay, so once you open the game at least once, close it and then close the Minecraft launcher. All you have to do now is double click on Fabric. Now, keep in mind that in order for you to open Fabric, the installer, you're going to need to have Java 21 in your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the programming language that allows you to open this type of jar files. If you don't have Java 21, of course, we're going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 21. It's pretty simple to follow and it is a requirement for you to open these files. The thing is that after the update 1.20.5 for Minecraft, Minecraft now requires you to have Java 21 to run mods, to make a server, or to do anything that requires using jar files, really. But yeah, you're gonna need to have Java 21 in your computers. Java 17 doesn't work anymore, or any older version of Java doesn't work anymore. Anyways, let's say that you already updated Java, and now you were able to open the Fabric installer. All you have to do in here is select the Minecraft version, and then just click install. That will begin the installation for Fabric, which should be pretty simple, as you can see. It already installed, go ahead and hit OK and now close the installer here. You can now even delete the fabric installer and all we have left is our sodium file. Now go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher and once the Minecraft launcher open, if we install fabric properly, we should see a selector here automatically. As you can see, fabric loader 1.21 is right there. However, if you don't see it in there, just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Without modded, you won't see fabric in here, okay? If that doesn't fix it for you, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want, like for example, Apex Hosting and then on the version, go ahead and select fabric, which should be right here. One of the first options and then click create and you will have a fabric instance anyways let's assume that you already got fabric in here what you're gonna do to add sodium is head over to installations you're gonna hover over fabric and you're gonna click on this little folder that appears right here that is going to open a folder with a lot of files but don't worry in here all you have to do is look for a folder called mod m o d s and my mods folder is right here as you can see but let's assume you don't have one i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine if you don't have a mods folder all you have to do is create a new folder and name it mod m o d s so yeah you could create the mods folder if you don't have it once you create it or found that folder go ahead and open it and now just go ahead and drag and drop sodium into this folder make sure that any other mod that you have in this folder it's a fabric mod and a 1.21 mod and that it is compatible with sodium so you prevent any crash anyways once you added sodium into your mods folder close out from this folder head back into your rank launcher and launch fabric by just clicking on play now once your minecraft game open we know that we're in fabric because it literally says fabric down here but we're gonna go ahead and test out if sodium is working let's head over to single player and let's launch one of our worlds in here sodium will work in multiplayer worlds as well so if you want to use this online you can and we're gonna go ahead and test out if sodium is working by just hitting the f3 menu and as you can see we have sodium rendering here which means that sodium is working so right now we have around 100 fps and also we know that sodium is working because if we press escape and we head over to options and video settings you will notice that this screen is a little bit different in here the menu changed and you can now access more things and yeah you can play around with your graphics and stuff to increase your fps so that is pretty much how to download and install sodium for minecraft 1.21 this video was useful don't forget to like leave a comment and subscribe and as always bye bye